So I'm Jason Chen. I just graduated last month with the LGO class of 2012, and I focused on engineering systems with a, a concentration in manufacturing systems and supply chain. And my undergrad major was control systems. After that, I worked in the Navy for a few years where I did some nuclear engineering on a submarine. And for my internship at LGO, I was at Boeing in South Carolina where we were building the 787. And that was a really exciting time. And after LGO, I'm gonna work for Philips Healthcare doing operations and supply chain. What I really liked about control systems undergrad was it was part electrical, computer science, and mechanical. So it was integrating all these things together, sensors and actuators and programming. And when there was a problem with the system, a control systems engineer could figure out which part of those needed to be tweaked and optimized. And sometimes it was, we, had, we just needed a little bit more performance here, and it was too expensive to get a new controller or a new sensor. So we could, we could fix that with just a little bit of programming. And I thought engineering systems was the same way. You look at the whole picture, and while you don't get as deep in each one, you understand the different parts that are required to make the whole thing come together. And when it comes time to fix big problems, um, a control systems or an engineering systems major is used to looking at big messy problems and teasing, teasing out the different parts of it that make it work or not work. I thought that I really understood what LGO is about when I went on my internship. You're being parachuted into a factory, you're there for six months, and it's a pretty complicated factory that has you know, thousands of people and, and hundreds of thousands of parts. And you have to have some way in your mind of sorting out what's, what's going on here, how should this work, what are they trying to do? and what's falling short, and then a model to try to fix or propose a solution. And that's really where LGO, I think, uh, is unique, because like engineering systems or control systems, it teaches you to look at the different parts of it. You see a problem, you, you have a feeling that something's not quite right, but you're trying to see, is this a technical problem? Is this a management problem? And is it both? You know, if I propose a technical solution, how tough is it to manage from, or implement from a management perspective? And if this is purely a management solution, are there some technical issues that we're not thinking about that'll, that'll hang us up along the way? So I think LGO really uh, teaches you to see clearly in those three different ways. I took uh, a lot of mechanical engineering courses just because I'm a hands-on person and I like to see how things work and take things apart. So the first course I took was Dan Whitney's Mechanical Assemblies class. And I like building things and seeing how things work. But in this class, we each, our groups got to choose a, a common product, and our group chose a blender. And we took it apart. We bought a few blenders. We took them apart. And Dan Whitney really got us to see why these things are designed the way they are. You know, we know that they're trying to sell millions of these, and they're trying to build them to work and, and work reliably. But it also has to be designed so a group of people, uh, probably in China, are actually building this thing efficiently and quickly and safely and to a high quality. And so we took this thing apart. We modeled it in CAD, and we were trying to figure out how these pieces go together step by step, and what things the designers put into it to make it easier to be put together. So after we figured out a few manufacturing uh, or the assembly instructions, Dan Whitney had us design the whole factory that actually built this. We figured out how many they tried to make a year, where the common problems are, can one person sit here and make this for two hours, or will he, will he or she um, become too bored, or is it too tough on the hands? or what kind of jigs or electronic or welding stations do they need to do this. So it was really neat just being able to see a product from that way. And now I look at most things uh, through that lens. It's realizing that there's a design for manufacturing component in most products, you know, almost all products. And so that actually applied to the airplane factory. Uh, Dan Whitney came to visit me down in Charleston, South Carolina. And it was really neat after I'd been there for about a month to see the factory through his eyes. He's you know, the master of assembling things and understanding how things go together well, and just having him talk through and identify different problems and pitfalls and seeing where Boeing did a great job of designing the manufacturing system. I really appreciated that day with him down at the factory.